Hey y'all, this is Chrissy over here from Chrissio's Clucky Chronicles. It's a messy hair and ponytail day. I get all this stuff chopped off, thank goodness. This long hair and ponytail is not very good for me during the summer. So we're going back blonde and shorter hair. Awesome. Well, anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that today we're going to be talking about different things that we're doing out here in the duck yard. We got a brand new pool coming for the duck ducks. We got a little sandbox. We're repurposing the old duck pool and putting that inside. Oh, a lightning bug. I got a lightning bug. Oh, I let him go. Anyway, I was going to let you see him. But anyway, sandbox for the quail on the inside. They like to take dust baths. So we're going to have some diatomaceous earth and some play sand in there for them, for them to frolic and have a lovely time. We'll check in with the chickens. It's evening time. We've been busy. And I'll show you guys the frame for the new um, chicken barn that's coming. So I'm super excited about that. Anyway, guys, I will get back with you in a little bit. I'm getting bit by a mosquito. Yuck! <laughs> Right here is the frame for the 8 by 10 It's going to be the new shed slash chicken coop for these wild little crazy babies right out here. Excuse the mess. We're still cleaning up stuff. We're always cleaning up stuff. Nana Roo's pacing back and forth because he thinks I'm going to come in here, but I am not because you guys are too busy trying to jiggle the girls and all of these girls right here are pretty sick of it i know i'm sorry girls i'm trying to do the best i can that rooster pad's almost done and you're going to be able to get a break from these mean nasty stinky little old roos sound good maybe <laughs> No, we don't care what you got to say, Carolyn. Anyway, here they are. If you notice anything different, guess what? We got these babies a bigger ducky pool today. Now the water was clear, but you know how these little babies are once they get in there rooting, tooting, and pooting. That's about how it turns out. So, now we've got a larger pool. It's a little bit deeper. They can dive. They can float. They can whatever they want to do. Got them a little ramp made. I know you guys see that little metal piece and like, oh my God, somebody's going to get their little flipper hurt. Nope. It's okay. We've already got that covered too. We've got a cover for it. So all's well in the ducky world. The quails are doing pretty good as well looky here it is pretty much complete the water buckets over there we got to do the food barrel bucket but remember last time i told you that the door wasn't done well there it is the door is done we've got that little piece up there at the top but the door is is done and over here on this side of the yard we're actually getting ready to start lining the frame back there to extend the chicken yard good times good things getting ready to happen and i can't wait to move all those mean tail roosters in that rooster pad look at my babies beautiful babies i'm going to come in and visit with you in just a second <laughs>
It's getting a little darker outside we do keep a box fan on in here and a little light the light will turn off at night so they don't really need any other light source um, and we do have this it's a little battery operated thing so that if I feel like they need a little night light I'll switch it off and on but anyway we're gonna put sand in here and we're gonna use food grade diatomaceous earth and we're gonna clean that cord up a little bit um, and they're going to have a lovely time flying in there, dusting themselves and doing what they do. So right now they're just really curious, walking around like, hey mommy, what you doing? I got to feed their, fill their little feeders up, fill their little water buckets back up and get them ready for tonight so they can have their snackies. They've already had watermelon and uh, we found some earthworms for them. They had a ball with that and some mealworms so now it's just time to get the sand pad thing ready and uh they're just gonna walk around and chit chat and talk to me a few minutes all right let's get some of those bags of sand and be prepared to sneeze Grassy extension is completed and they are all in this enclosed area. It's hard to see, but it is wrapped with wire. The wire is green, so it kind of blends in. It looks like there's nothing holding them in, but there is. So they've got their additional space. I feel like in probably... I'd say about 25 30 minutes all this grass out here is going to be gone they're going to eat just about every bit of it and they're having a lovely time except for Bobby he's kind of mental he doesn't know where the door is we've tried to show him whatever but they're having a lovely time and they're going to enjoy it Catherine you need to go eat Bobby you need to go eat go on go on in there and go eat Go on, Bobby. Go eat. Anyway. Here it is. Foraging. Just peeking on the babies here, and I have to say that they're doing pretty good. They're pretty happy until the ducks go in at night, and then the ducks um, kind of get a little territory, a little mean to them. But other than that, they're doing pretty good. Oh, and the one that had a boo-boo, flew into the top of the barn, fell down, hurt his little leg, and broke his little wing, healed up just fine. It's doing marvelous now. Not for sure what the gap is in these videos, but we do from one week to the next. 
but um, doing pretty good so far and they love the fan and I love the little sounds that they make they are so super sweet this is going to end it for today I got my sweet little Jane Lily anyway y'all have a good day don't forget to like subscribe share all that good stuff all the good stuff thanks for joining along with us tell them Jane Lily tell them that you are so excited yeah that they're here and that you're the cutest baby ducky duck on the planet but we do appreciate y'all so ducking much see how I did that yeah Jane Lily loves y'all too she loves y'all a whole lot We'll see y'all on the flip side. More tales with the quail, but so far the quail's doing good. <laughs>